Yo, Jenny Gang, what it do? So I am back with our, I believe our third video of the year, which is terrible for me, um, but I'm gonna do better. Don't worry, gang. You just make sure you subscribe and hit the like button. But I am back with our third video of the year. And go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe. Um, go ahead and join the Jenny gang. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're lit as ever. So, this particular video is not about any celebrity gossip. It's not about any of these crazy horror story cases that we talk about sometimes with the people that just like to do murders and stuff like that for fun, like, you know, the dummies of the world. This particular video is about yours truly, Jenny Gang. So, um, I've been like softly mentioning in the last few months that I was gonna make some changes to my body. Uh, and I said the beginning of the year, so I'm a little bit off on my time. However, I was just trying to pace everything right with my work schedule, um, my um, child, schedule and just everything you know so i finally picked uh the week to go so it is going to be monday february 1st that's assuming everything is great with my um i think you call it a bmi there are several tests you have to do prior to even getting the pre-op appointment which all of those came back great we're already i mean it's like eight or nine tests y'all i can't even tell y'all um all those came back great and so we just got to do a few more tests and of course they had to see me um they they do an online consultation now because of COVID and also because I would have been states and states away so I wouldn't have wanted to come here and do a consultation and then not wanted to go with the people that I'm going with so yeah this vlog is about well this video is about that so I am excited I am doing something that I've been wanting to do for a long time now. I am not exactly happy with this section of my body. Now, all of the men will say, oh my God, nothing's wrong with you. I don't see it. That's because I suck it in for one. And for two, guys don't really know the struggle of not having the midsection or body that you want. Okay. We know how y'all are. Y'all will hit a gorilla if the gorilla is thick. Women understand that. However, we just like things to be tucked and perfect, you know, as much as they can be. Um, so, yeah, that's as much as I'm going to tell y'all right now as far as about what I'm having done. But definitely getting this tuck. No lipo, an actual tuck. I don't need the extras still hanging around later on uh, after my procedure is done. So, I made this decision at the beginning of last year, okay? I told myself I was gonna grind it out because I didn't just wanna spend thousands and thousands of dollars on something um, and not really be set on everything else. So if you follow me on anything else, you know, 2020, I pounded it out like I pounded it out. I am super proud of the way I moved with nothing lazy about my style, my swag, my work ethnic. It actually has made me I have a newfound disrespect for people who do not exercise their right to be um, a hustler. You know what I'm saying? A full-blown hustler. Especially when there's things out here in this world that you want and this is the money is there for you to go get it and you don't. I have no respect for those type of people. So I grinded it out last year and now I'm ready to get my surgery. But I wanted to have, you know what I'm saying, my stuff together all the way around. So... I am in M-I-A-O, Miami. I flew down this evening about 5.30. I caught a flight from Atlanta um, at 5.30. And I got here at like, by like seven. I got here very quick. I haven't been on the plane in a while. So it was a little bit off for me. Um, I don't know, I ain't gonna say how I felt, but God, I'm here. And I'm so grateful that I'm here. And I don't go back home until the 6th or 7th of February, back to Atlanta and then back to Greenville, where then I will be recovering for about six weeks. Um, again, if you've been following me, you know that I am an entertainer, but I am more so a stage entertainer. I am great on stage, great on the pole. However, that will change for a little bit after my recovery because 
my abdominal walls are going to be so weak from the tummy tuck that I'm getting that things will be harder to do. Now, I'm still going to be the champ. F what you heard, but the champ will have to move a little slower in her moves, you know, initially when I first come back. The music thing will be good, you know, but the, the pole thing, definitely going to go a little bit slower with that and definitely going to take a little bit more time to get right. Um, I did want to have some added to my behind, but unfortunately I cannot do that because when you get a tummy tuck, there are too many incisions, so you can't have your the incision back there too. But since this is what really bothers me, I went ahead and made the decision to do that. So, um, yeah, I wanted to tell you guys about it. I'll make a short video and show you all the things that I had to bring here, all the things I had to order, just little medicines, vitamins, etc. Fellas, y'all might not be so interested in this part of my um channel however i think you will love the results i think you will so just stick around and just see you know what i'm saying what we got going on we're here with jenny game because you don't want to get left out you, you don't want to miss when i pop up with the dang on you know what i'm saying shape coke cold shape and stuff like that so stay around watch if you have questions i'll answer those i'll tell you who i went to um probably won't I mean, I guess we can get into calls. I guess it's not personal. I guess it's all over their Instagram anyway. But, um, yeah, I want you guys to go through this with me. Only send me encouraging words. I don't need any negativity. Um, I am a big baby, so my mom is not, not that happy that I'm doing this. Um, also, everybody in my inner circle is just like, just wasting money but they don't understand this really the fupa fupa whatever however you call it really bothers me okay i'm a pole dancer true enough that is a form of exercise however jenny gang eats what she wants i got two steaks over here from root chris right now okay steaks i only ordered steak and um cream of spinach but they brought all this lobster macaroni and shrimp and stuff i don't know if they were being generous or whatever but i eat so in reality, I could have never trimmed my waistline to the way that I wanted it just by doing my pole dance. It just wasn't going to happen. So yeah, just be with me. Send me positive uh, vibes, positive blessings. Uh, wish me safe travels. Um, also, I will turn into an Umar Johnson on this. I will ask for gifts, gifts donations from everybody that's real gang members because i'm gonna be out of work for six weeks remember this is me this is the, the workaholic the girl who's been working six days a week for the last four or five months you know what i'm saying i don't even know how to act with this break really like um i was thinking of going to work while i was down here but it's just i don't want i just don't think i should i think the time is going to get too jumbled I have to go to my pre-op appointment tomorrow at 11 a.m. Keep in mind, I don't have a car down here, so I'm Ubering everywhere I go. So that means I would have went to work until about 5 a.m., came back here, slept, you know, showered, whatever. The pre-op appointment, I didn't even realize was is going to be like four or five hours, okay? So there's really just no time to work. Unless I work tomorrow night, I really don't see how I could possibly work and do this procedure successfully so the kid is gonna lay out and miss this last weekend of her you know being whoever she is right now but gang just rock with me be there for me pump my other videos up i'm going to post these blogs but in between i am going to post other content and yeah i think you guys will love it so like share comment subscribe again ask any questions you may have if it's not too personal you know i'll answer it keep all negativity off of my channel if you don't like the way i look guess what i don't care if you don't like what i do for a living guess what i don't care i hate to keep having to reiterate that but it's like every time i you know i may post a difference of opinion on someone else's channel 
here they come with the dancer comments here they come with the strong face comments i'm gorgeous like i i there's not a question about that but i choose not to i don't really i don't really walk around like oh i'm gorgeous i just have good vibes and good energy and let everything else follow just like if i could be who i am and walk around with a nasty attitude nasty vibes I, I'd be ugly as hell because that's just how, that's how I see people. You can look good as you want to, but if you got a nasty attitude, nasty vibes, that's really all I see. So keep like, miss me with all that. We good over here, but for the real gang, like, share, um, subscribe and comment, and I'll see y'all on the next one.